Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands and the highways And on and on we'll go Good morning everyone Morning Welcome back to another video We have been a little bit MIA recently But we are still here cracking on uh, we've just had a little bit of a break from YouTube videos, but we're seeing some amazing places for the rest of the year and we're planning to bring you along for all of it. So to get cracking, this weekend we're heading up to Cervantes. Uh, it's about two and a half hours from Perth, so it's an awesome weekend destination to just get away. And Cervantes itself is a great gateway to lots of other places. We are having a break from camping this weekend. We're gonna ditch the camping setup and we are staying at a cabin at the RAC Cervantes Holiday Park. So we're very excited for that. It's gonna be so nice to just have a little break from camping, have the creature comforts, all that sort of thing. So we're gonna bring you along and show you all of that as well. <laughs> We've just arrived in Cervantes. It's a nice little beach town here. Yeah, it's so nice. It, yeah. is, it is a little bit blowy today, um, which is fine because it gives us the opportunity to go to one of the most well-known famous places in town. The Lobster Shack. <laughs> yeah, so we're so excited. It means for once we get to just eat a lobster without going to all the effort to go diving. And I mean, we usually come up empty handed yeah. anyway. And um, it is winter, so the water is freezing at the moment. It is a little cold. So it is a much nicer option to just have the Lobster Shack here. You can go in, eat all the seafood you want um, without getting wet. Let's go. Neither. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for lunch, Jess. What are you having? <laughs> have to roll the sleeves up for this one. <laughs> Might get a bit messy. Oh yeah. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. Hungry? Yeah. All right. What are you doing? Trying an oyster. Kill Patrick oyster. Mm. Your first time. Better than the fresh ones we tried years ago. Yeah, definitely. It is creamy, and I'm sure they're very good oysters because of the lobster shack that we're at. Barbecue sauce is definitely a plus. Bacon's a plus. <laughs> and the oysters not. <laughs> and the oysters just is just there. <laughs> All right, good it's on, super, good super on you yummy for trying. <laughs> Now it's my turn. I don't know how to. Heaps of flavors hit you at once, hey? Mm. Mm. Not bad? I actually like her. Yeah. Mm. It's nice. Kind of tastes like smoked oysters. Mm. That is much nicer than fresh oysters, according to me. So, success? Yeah, that's good. I'd have that again. Yeah, mm. well, there's two more. Yum. How Job done. It? Bloody amazing. It was actually a really good feed. And we are full. Mm. And how about the view? That's amazing. to the Himalayas. <laughs> so we've just checked into the RAC Cervantes Holiday Park. It is such a beautiful place. Yeah. Um, such a really cozy feeling here. Very modern. It's got everything you need. It's got a pool, it's got a little park for the kids. Yeah. Heaps of nice straight roads so you can ride your bikes, your skateboards, scooters, everything. Yeah, we can see the ocean from here. Yeah. It's literally a one minute walk. Um, 
So we do wish that it was a little bit warmer, um, but hopefully tomorrow when that wind's gone, we're gonna head down to the beach, go for a beautiful walk. Yeah, it's, it just feels cozy, like it feels out of the elements, which is really different for us since we don't have an indoor area. No, so usually yeah. we're living on the road and we don't, you know, often stay at places like this. So for today, because it's a little bit windy, we're gonna just settle in, relax. We're gonna go for a walk around the park. Um, and then this afternoon, we're gonna go to the Pinnacles for sunset, which is only a 20 minute drive from here. So it yeah. you know, just shows this is such a great base to explore all these other areas. Um, so we'll head out there for sunset and then tomorrow the wind's dropping off and we're gonna walk down to the beach. We're gonna, you know, go and explore yeah. and yeah, see what's in the area, see what we can find. Yeah, that'd, that'd be perfect. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And of course, plenty of time to relax. Oh, definitely, well. yeah. Because in a place like this, How like can you not? that bed, I just wanna jump on it and, yeah. <laughs> and have a nap. <laughs> Spend all day watching movies. That sounds yeah. pretty good. We are here at one of the coolest places in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the coolest places in Australia. For sure, yeah. We're at the Pinnacles and it's just, it takes your breath away. It is so unbelievable here. Yeah, it's just so random that all these rocks are just standing up out of the grounds and then it's just flat everywhere else. Like, yeah. it doesn't crazy. make sense. And the science behind it is they, there, but. Yeah, they, they still don't even know how they were formed, why they're here. Like yeah. there's lots of theories, but they don't know for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is just so baffling. And this place is huge. It's not just one little section. Um, like as we drive through, we'll show you, but it stretches for so long. So yeah. we're gonna go for a bit of a walk. Uh, we'll show you what it's like. Um, and then, yeah, we're hopefully gonna wait for sunset and hopefully we get some really nice sunset shots. We've been walking around for ages just admiring all the rocks here and every single one's unique. It's just crazy to think how many there are. And it's just beautiful. The sunset's just gone. It was pretty cloudy, so it wasn't the best sunset, but. It would have been really awesome to get the drone up here just to show you how, how big this place is, how yeah. many rocks there actually are. Um, but we're not 100% sure on the drone rules. But yeah, it would be amazing to show you what it looks like from above. And we would even love to just see what it looks like from above. But yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there if that is something you wanted to see. Um, yeah. But yeah, we are very, very cold <laughs> now that yeah. that sun's gone. Um, it is, oh, we are so cold. The Pinnacles is also two-wheel drive accessible. So don't feel like you need a four-wheel drive to do it just yep. because it's off-road. It's sand, but it's very firm and two-wheel drives can easily make it through yeah, the circuit. Yeah, absolutely. The road, we can show you the road. It's like solid as, you know, hard sand. You don't have to do <laughs> We are going to hit the road and get back to camp. I feel like I'm saying that out of habit, but get back to the cabin and we're gonna have a cruisy night and then yeah we'll be up bright and early to make the most of the day tomorrow see you then good morning good morning we just had a lovely sleep in a really lazy morning just you know enjoying the cabin yeah having some comfort which is really nice yeah yep yeah, absolutely had a cup of tea had some breakfast now we're just gonna go for a little walk to the on-site cafe and get a coffee or chocolate, yeah. whatever we feel like. Yeah. And then we're gonna go for a walk down to the beach, which is literally so right close, in front of we the can cafe. see it from yeah. here.
I just want to say these might be the coolest table numbers that I've ever seen. Yeah. They're all Uno you know, cards. Even like table four is a draw four. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. So if it was warmer, we would definitely be booking a tour to see the sea lions because that would be really, really awesome. But maybe, you know, maybe if we're back time. here, yeah, we'll definitely be back because it's such a beautiful yeah. area. Um, so hopefully next time we'll come back and we'll do a tour. Chef Mitchie in the house. You, you. <laughs> Let's go. Check out that. Swim. <laughs> Self service. <laughs> the weather was a little bit hit and miss today, um, but you know, we made the most of it and we can really see the potential of this place when the sun's out. I mean, being walking distance to the beach and you can just see the water's so blue even when it's overcast, we can just tell when the sun's out, it would just be incredible. We're going to enjoy the rest of the evening and fingers crossed when we wake up tomorrow, hopefully we've got some sun and if not, you know, it is what it is. We can't change the weather. <laughs> With the track record so far, yeah. it's not looking great, but who knows, we might be surprised. Yeah, who knows, my have just thought now it's bum. Who, <laughs> who actually knows? One way to say it. <laughs> This is goodbye to the cabin. Yeah, unfortunately, we're a bit sad to leave. We yeah. really got settled in. <laughs> yeah, it was super cozy and it's just good to get out of the elements for once. So. Yeah, now it's back to reality, back to the camping setup and being in the elements. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. But even, yeah. even then, staying here at this holiday park, if you were in the, you know, the camping setup, it's an awesome place. There's so many facilities. You've got the pool, you've got a games room. Yeah. Um, awesome camp kitchen. They've really got a good setup in there. Yeah, that's it's, just next level. Yeah, and just such a good base to explore other areas. I'm pretty yeah. sure this is the closest um, place you can stay to the Pinnacles. Um, it's literally 20 minutes, so it's right around the corner, um, yeah. which, yeah, makes it Ten super times convenient. Better. <laughs> yeah. There's beach access for four-wheel drives with people yeah. with boats, or even if you don't have a boat and you want to park up on the beach, right. um, you, can, you can beach launch your tinny or whatever. So that's, that's really cool yeah. as well. And we can just tell when the sun is on those beaches, they would just be so blue and spectacular. Oh. It's just, oh, I'd be so nice. It's, it's a very quiet sort of calm bay right out the front. So, yeah. you know, beautiful for a paddle board or, yeah, that's true. you know, even just a little dip when it's yeah. warmer. Oh, go for a flick, who knows what you might catch. Mm. So we're just about to check out the RAC Cervantes Holiday Park. And don't go yet because there's one more stop on the way back home. Hopefully the weather holds out for us. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. Alright, see you soon. See you soon. What are we doing? Deflating. Hang on, wait a second. <laughs> 
What are we doing? Going on some sand dunes. We do have a slight dilemma. We have these lovely skateboards without the wheels on them. However, they don't actually slide. Um, Mitch says he's got a bright idea on how to make it work. So I don't actually know Stay what, tuned. what he's doing. All right, all Mitch has grabbed is this really thin tarp that we have. I'm not really sure how he's gonna make it stick to the board, but It'll work. I don't know. All right, here we go. Okay, you ready? Go. Even worse <laughs> than without it. Negative. Right, worth a shot. So you can see up there, that's the sandboarding area. It is really good that they've sort of closed off that section because when you're out forward driving, come over a dune, you don't want to be running over someone that's sandboarding. So that is really good. Um, and it, yeah, it also means that that area is quite packed, but then if you've got a four wheel drive, you can head out the back and you know, you've got a whole dune to yourself. Alrighty, that pretty much wraps up this video. Yep, that's enough play time in the sand dunes. Yep, yeah, what an awesome weekend. We do, you know, we do wish that the weather was slightly more in our favor, but you can't change the weather. It nah, is what it is. We're hiding behind the car door at the moment. So <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Up. Hopefully the audio is alright. If you ever get a chance, come down to Lancelin Dunes. It's top, yep. heaps of fun. You can rent the sandboards, you can rent dirt bikes, you can rent quads. Yep. Um, you can, you can full drive. Yeah. yeah. If you got a two-wheel drive, you can stop at the front of the park. Um, yep. And there's a servo up the road where you can air up. So if you don't have an air compressor, that's okay. Yeah. And if if you're not hiring anything, it's free to come in here. So you can bring your four-wheel drive. You can just walk in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bring a board of some, some sort. Yeah, don't bring skateboards, specifically the penny boards. I think that's where we went wrong. Yeah, the grooves got stuck on the sand. I think a normal trick deck or a standard deck with yeah. the curved edges, they'd be fine. And like a lightweight yeah. board would be good. But next time, next time we're here, hopefully we'll, it's not windy. We're gonna bring some different boards or yeah. we'll just hire them. Yeah. Um, and hopefully a bit of sun. That would be nice. So we'll we'll leave you with that. Um, yep. we, we had an awesome weekend. We hope, you know, this video was informative on some of the things you can do around Cervantes. Uh, it's definitely somewhere we'll be back. We'll be back to next oh, time. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah easily. Just such a good spot to explore the area and, you know, somewhere like this on the way from Perth. So, yeah. Yeah. And the feed at Lobster Shack was unreal as well. Yeah, so. that was really good. It's almost worth that. coming just for the Lobster Shack feed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, easy as. Well, we might see you on the next one. All righty, take care. See you. Bye.